everybody, welcome back to Karma and Kismet. I'm Kelly and today we are gonna be making something for our fur babies. So I am a cat mom, if you don't know already, Pascal is my little angel and my little devil and I spoil him to no end. Probably like all of you fur mom and dads out there too. So today what we're gonna do is make a bandana. So I've seen these bandanas made a bunch of different ways, but this way is super simple and it's really easy. All you need to do is just put it onto a collar. So we're gonna do that. Very easy to do, very cheap to do. So let's go ahead and get started. Before we get started, make sure you head to my website, carmenkismetdesigns.com to get the printable pattern. So this is gonna have four different sizes on it that you can use depending on what size your pet is. Um, I would just suggest just measuring your um, the girth of your pet's neck, and then you can kind of figure out from there which one will work best for you. My little one is pretty tiny, so I'm actually gonna go for the small size here, but if you need to, for some reason, make this a little bit smaller or make it a little bit larger, you can also do that by just kind of adding a little bit on here on that page. So make sure you grab that, print this out, and then we're ready to go. In addition to a sewing machine, you'll need your pattern, fabric, pins, and a rotary cutter to complete this project. The first thing I'm gonna do is just iron out my fabric. And I picked this fabric that I actually got from a local craft store and it has the Lion King characters on it so it's perfect for my little prints. Once you've ironed your fabric, lay it out and fold it in half. On the folded edge, you're going to take the longest edge of your pattern and line it up. Next, using a straight edge, cut along the sides of the pattern so that you have your bandana cut out. Now we're gonna make a quarter inch hem. I'm gonna take my iron and just fold over about a quarter inch onto the fabric and then iron that down. That's just gonna make it more uniform and easier to pin. Once you've ironed completely around your bandana, you can go ahead and pin these pieces down. Now we can head to the sewing machine and start sewing. So you're just gonna sew around this following that edge that we created for that quarter inch hem. If you're really adventurous, you could make this into a dual-sided bandana. So maybe I'll do that in another video. Let me know below if you guys would be interested in that. I would love to try that out with you guys. Once you've sewn completely around the bandana, just cut off those loose threads that you have. And then we're gonna get ready to create the pocket for the collar that we need. Because every collar is a different size and width, you're gonna have to check this and kind of do a trial by error with it. The first time I did this, I did it too small, so I actually had to redo that pocket, but just kind of add, fold it over and add a little bit more because you have to remember you're going to do that stitch along the bottom there. The easy part about this is you can always take those stitches out. That's what's so great about sewing. It's very forgiving. Okay. 
once you pin down that pocket, now you're just gonna sew a straight line across it and leave open those two ends so you can place the collar through there. If you want to add a little flair to this bandana, you can try out some different stitches on your machine. I'm just using a straight stitch here, but you could definitely look into the many other stitches that are available on your machine. And in probably about 15 minutes, we got a bandana done. So now what we're gonna do is just take the collar and place it through the pocket that you made. And then of course, try it out on your little model. Pascal loved it, or I guess he put up with it. So there you guys have it. That is the super simple way to make a pet bandana. Pascal is loving slash putting up with his Lion King bandana that I've made him and he is just a little love. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the craft and that you try it out. And if you do, make sure that you tag Carmen Kismet on Instagram and also be sure that you are subscribed and you like the video below because there's a ton more DIYs, other magic and things like that that are coming your way on the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching.